Good morning. It's six o'clock in the morning. You can, well, you can see my breath. It's cold out. I'm up. I totally did it. I'm really happy with myself. Now I'm cold, so I'm gonna go back inside. Check out the morning mountains. This alone is worth getting up early for. <laughs> Whoops! Jeez, butter gluts. <laughs> butter gluts. We are in Kev's dad's truck because our truck is getting worked on at the moment. The glass windows being fixed. And when Kevin took his car in, guess what they found out? That there was another lady getting her car, her window fixed because she was also in San Francisco the same time we were. She also got her car broken into. Weird. Family friend is uh, fixing the glass. Nice. All right, we have never noticed this blue line before. And today, we're gonna follow it. Because it takes you along a trail of historic houses, we just found out. I don't know how we never noticed it, but we're gonna check it out. We don't have time to go on a hike in the woods today because we're picking up Emmett at school. So we figured this would be a good walk for us to do. All right, so we're on the Kit Carson Trail, the Blue Line Trail. And it just takes you through like old Victorian houses of the neighborhood. So this is the Thomas J. Edwards house, circa 1883. Let's look at the actual house. Very nice. Follow the blue line. This is a pretty cool old church. One of my favorite things is old churches in cities. Like obviously New York has a ton of nice old churches. They have them all over Europe. We even have a really nice church in downtown Sarasota. It's just white and sticks out against all the other buildings. Dativ's fly will not go down. It won't down. stay up. It will not stay up. Really? She's been walking all down. These big draping trees are so pretty and they're blooming right now. This is the wrinkle mansion. Wrinkle? Kevin said that in October they do kind of like a ghost tour trail this of is, all of these houses. This is the, one of the world's finest and best preserved examples of high Victorian Italianate architecture. Hi honey. You are so sweet. You guarding your storefront? <laughs> Come here. No way. Who is this big guy? It's a little guy. girl, what are you talking about? Oh, sorry. You are so cute. Excuse me, princess. Didn't you are know. so cute. Oh, <laughs> we want to belly squat? I'm so happy. Hey, look at the camera. Smile for the camera. This looks like Margo. Smile for the camera. Alright, we have to go. Pictures. Whenever I pass a fence like this, I cannot resist doing this. Does anyone else have this problem? Or maybe it's not a problem. This gift. <laughs> I just do it every single time. All right, this is the Orion Clemens house, and it says that Mark Twain stayed here periodically in 1864. Love that. That's pretty cool. I'll follow you, Duchess. Walk this way. Okay, blow at the same time. Okay. I want to film both of us. Yeah, I know. Blow at the same time? Yeah. Why are you holding it? Sorry. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I was trying to play a trick on you. You didn't fall for it. What trick I was just it? watched a video where these two friends go, One, two, and the friend opens her mouth and she puts it in her mouth. I did it to you. I pulled the trick on you. <laughs> Alright guys, the Bliss Mansion. In its time, 1879, the most modern and largest home in Nevada. So this was the largest home in 1879. This is the first house piped for gas lighting. So, I mean, even in today's standards, that's a pretty big house, it seems. Yeah. So far, this wonderful blue line has been a pleasant surprise, don't you think? I do. I never would have thought that this, this blue line could take us through so many beautiful homes that we've never seen before. Okay. And so many puppies. That dot wishes she had. Alright, here's a picture of the house back in the day. 
I don't know this movie, but it's called The, the Shootist Sh with John Wayne. I don't know John Wayne movies. This is the Here house it is. where the shootest was filmed. I don't know cowboy movies. This is this house was operated by landlady Lauren Bacall in the movie, and the last stop for John Wayne in hmm. his last movie. Also stars Jimmy Stewart and. Robert Kev and I both had to pee really badly. Sorry, too much information, but we did. So we stopped in Kama Coffee to get a latte and a chocolate muffin. Just chill out before we pick up Emmett. I'm looking at uh, Italian Victorian architecture right now. Learning what that means. Do I know what it means? You're learning what it means? Yeah. I love this place because a lot of the decorations remind me of something like Alice in Wonderland or Tim Burton or something. Hey Em, how was school? Good. Did you get a sheriff badge? Yeah. Because you were good? No, because I was good at speech. Good at speech? Yeah, I stood in the same That's great news. Emmett just said, they're talking about why they have the middle names that they have and their first names and who they're named after. And he goes, our whole entire family is named after a restaurant. And Kevin's like, what? And he goes, yeah, McDonald's. Like McHugh. I wish you were named after McDonald's. McHugh, <laughs> I'm riding on an empty school bus. Look at that. Pretty cool. Me and Dad are going to pick up the old pickup truck from the shop. I have not been on a school bus though in forever. And Dotev has probably never been on a school bus. Boom! Window is fixed. Look at that lovely window. Now we can see the mountains with joy. Also, I'm loving my stripes today. <laughs> Put a little mount on my bike today. Sweet. Boom. I'm excited. Let's see how this thing works. Don't mess up. Push the right buttons. Come on, man. Mess up. Please. All right. You like Got my one for a run. Today? What? You like my ultra yellow jersey today? You like my ultra purple jersey today? You've been really into yellow lately. Yeah, I do. I like it a lot. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Here is the question. Rigatoni, elbows, penny, mini farfalle, or linguini fini? Which one do we pick? You guys aren't gonna believe this, but we chose spaghetti. All right, it's about time for us to go to bed. Good news, the last part, it's only two questions, but the last part of the tiny house questions videos that we did on the Dodge of Gallagher channel just went up today. So if you missed it, don't forget to check it out. I'll put a link right here. I'll also put a link in the description. And uh, if I didn't get to any of your questions, just ask me again in the comment section and we will eventually get to them. But we are gonna go to sleep now. I have a new hero, Larry David. Kevin, Kirby I, I showed him Kirby Enthusiasm and now he loves it. So freaking funny, it's All right. hilarious. I'm going to bed. I got up so early today, I'm so tired and hopefully I can do it again tomorrow. Hope you guys have an awesome morning, afternoon, night, wherever, wherever you are, are in the, the whole world. world. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.